Hello there guys and welcome back to another video. Um, it's been some time since I posted my last video and the reason for it is mostly because I've been a little bit busy with my new job and um, now I have to, you know, I, I have way little time because I pretty much feel like I'm working the entire day because I start working like at noon and then I end working at like 10 p.m. here. So it's a schedule that is just consuming most of my time during the day. Um, also, I mean, there is there have not been like that many things to talk about, um, but I have a quite a good list of things that I want to mention and that probably are going to be very important for you guys. Um, most of you probably already know about this. Probably you guys saw a video of someone talking about the patch and everything, but I feel like, I mean, this is something that I wanted to add and have here in the channel for you. Uh, for those of you that follow me and you know use this channel for any source of information now um first thing i'm going to be talking about is my, is my um opinion about the new costumes as you know guys uh the new costume we currently have is going to be the medical club um Percy. being absolutely honest guys i um i don't know i, I don't like this costume i i don't like the design as well um, but it's, I guess, pretty decent. I mean, it's kind of a replacement for Samai, but it's way more expensive because you would need at least three SP for this to work. Like, if you look at this, right, um, if we go to plus five, then it's going to be three SP, but it's eating, it is increasing your attack in magical attack by 140, uh, 110%, which is a lot of attack in magic attack, right? But I feel like this should be... 2SP maximum, 3SP is way, way too expensive as a buff buffer, and this character, I mean, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense because the weapon for this character actually gives you attack percentage, but this um, buff and the healing that it provides is working based on the HP of the character, so, I don't know, it's kind of weird, unless this is 50% of the, um, character that you are healing, right? 50% of the HP of the character you are healing. I don't know if that's the case, or if it is the case of the 50% of the HP for Teresi, right? Um, if you go with the um, upgrades here, with the bonding system, it will go up to 120% attack. It still remains to be 3 uh, SP, and you actually would not be able to um, continue buffing right away after the buff ends because the cooldown is five turns and the duration is four turns so you would have one turn that's going to be dead in which you are not going to be able to buff so it's pretty much like that now um the character is definitely very very good to be paired with a character like glacia for example right which is a character that has a massive increase in damage if you consider um that is a character that works kind of like Justia. So let me just show you here real quick, guys. So if we check here for the um, update that is I think is going to be happening today, we have this new costume for Glacia and the way in which this costume works, which I have to say I love. I love the design. It, it, it looks great. And I think that this is definitely one uh, costume that I would like to have on my account. It is the first character to deal um fixed magical damage which is which was uh called before true physical damage right now in this case it's fixed magical damage which means that it ignores all type of armor on the enemy um and just deals pure damage cannot create though this cannot create so keep that in mind guys and of course this type of costume that you need to have with a very high amount of um dupes because since it, it cannot create you are depending uh, fully on the amount of damage that you can do here with the multiplier uh, multiplier sorry so as you can see now they are uh, continuing with the tendency of putting the sp reduction on the second upgrade of the costume so if you want to go uh, budget you can go plus one and that would be enough i would definitely recommend that you can that for you to go as high as you can because that way you will be taking more advantage of this costume and also, I guess it's going to be one of the best options for PvP as well. Fixed damage is always going to be insane for PvP. And this character particularly is going to be very strong because it can revive by itself. It is very, very tanky. 
and, and you can definitely build it so that it he that it hits um hard enough to work on PvP. So I'm pretty sure that this costume will be insane for PvP. Um, yeah. So pretty much that's going to be all for the new costumes. Now, there is a new skill that was added for Thoracy. I don't even know if I am saying her name the right way. Probably I'm butchering the name. Um, but here is the character, and this is the um, skill that is called Overpower. And pretty much what it does is that you can kill, uh, you immediately kill monsters when you use dash while this ability is active. So it's like a way for you to um, kill overworld enemies faster, I guess, for people that will do the crazy thing of going around all the map and killing all monsters, which I do not recommend at all. In any case, it is what it is. Um, now... Something that I actually like is that you are now able to change the characters that you want to follow you in the scenario, right? So right now, um, this is not my theme, but I have it. I have it selected so that only Cry is the character that is showing up. So you don't even need to have the character in your theme um, so that it can be show up, um, shown here, uh, following you around. So what you do is that you come here to the abilities. And you will be able to select this option here. And it would allow you to... This is going to be showing you the theme that you can have currently active. And then this is where you can select the characters that you want to follow you around. If you remove everything, pretty much what is going to happen is that whatever theme you have selected, that's what's going to be following you around. I think this is a pretty nice um, addition to the game. And I do like it. Um, something else. Um, there are some new items that you guys should be checking out in the PvP shop. So we'll, let's come here real quick to the PvP shop. Uh, here we go. Is PvP already available? I don't even know. Oh yeah, PvP is now available. Okay, that's good. I actually have to do my PvP battles. All right, so if you come here to the shop, and you enter here, you are going to be finding a couple of things. Of course, you get the costumes that you can get. And I'm definitely getting this one so that I can get this to plus five. And they added this. You are exclusive gear, which is a complete scam. Don't do this. Uh, this one as well, I consider this to be a complete scam. Unless you have like a massive amount of this. I, I would not recommend going for any of that. And of course, you also have this one as well. Um, a small thing that was added there, but I mean, yeah. It's good to know, good for you guys to know. Sylvia, very strong. If you don't have Sylvia, or if you already have Sylvia and you want to deal more damage with her, especially now in Season of Water, definitely go for her. She hits really, really hard. Now, for the shop, there are new teams as well that you guys should definitely be considering. If you come here, um, for the Golden Thread, we have these. The property selective draw exchange ticket. And what this pretty much does is that when you get this in the draw um, screen, you will be able to see a new option that would allow you to select one particular element. And when you roll, you get a five star. So it's always a five star that you're going to be getting when you roll with this of the a particular element that you are rolling. Uh, keep in mind that it's not going to be giving you any powder or hope. So it's very important that you keep that in consideration. For the powder or hope rotation right now, there is Grand Hill, not recommended to get it because um, she's free in the pub. But if you want more copy of her, go ahead. Um, Rafina, kind of a niche character. It's not bad to have. Uh, it is what it is. You have uh, Lashia, right? Which is really, really good. I should, should definitely recommend you to get at least one copy of this. It's going to be really, really good for PvP and even for PvE. And I mean, Rubia, if you want to go for higher damage there. You have the option available now. Now, um, something is very small, but they added this option for you to select the music that you want to have in the home screen. And um, as you can see here, you can select all of these songs and you can even select a, a couple of them and then have them play randomly or have only one on repeat all the time. I think, again, pretty small um, quality of life change. Doesn't affect anything in particular, but I, I like it. To be honest, I like it. Um, there's, there is a new mechanic now for the bosses. And it's very important that we know. Because now, when you attack three times 
uh, the weak spot of the boss, it automatically puts the boss on um, sort of a vulnerable state that would allow you to crit 100% of the time after you hit it uh, three times in a row. So very, very important that you have this in consideration because it's going to be the best way for you to deal more, as much damage as possible to the boss. This is going to be a very hard boss because it's a fire element. We don't really have a lot of like very, very strong water units, or at least I myself don't have a lot of uh, strong magic um, water units. Um, I guess Glacia will be kind of good here. And um, yeah, of course, Sylvia is going to be really, really good as well. At least with Sylvia, you should be able to hit two of the weak spots. And she may also be the tank for the team so that she can deal some damage with counter as well. So yeah. Pretty decent. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be easy enough for us to clear it, even without having a lot of characters. Um, and yeah, so something else that's very interesting is that they are adding more potential. They already added it, right? More potential and bonding systems for other characters. And the characters that are getting the, the new uh, potential is Rue, Thursi, Celia Diana, which is a really good character to have this because she's a really great uh, character. Grand Hill, uh, Samai, and Emma. So with this, we get the confirmation that three star and four star characters are also going to be getting a way for you to increase their um, damage or their potential, right? Like, for example, Samai is pretty interesting because, as you know, this costume is only one SP, right? And if we check here the upgrade per view, and we use this, you notice that if you completely upgrade this costume, it would not cost you anything to use the the buff. Which is really interesting, right? This is pretty good. I'm, I'm guessing we are going to be seeing a lot of people using Samai now for PvP. Because why not? You have free buff every turn and all you have to do is just build a really, really tanky Samai that would survive and take some hits and give you some buff. And all you have to do is use one of the tier of the goddess on this costume, right? Because it is still will cost you one tier of the goddess to be able to unlock this. For four star and three star characters, they only have one upgrade for their abilities. So if you have a three star or a four star character that you really, really like and that you want to continue using, good news for you because you will be able to um, upgrade them to make them a little bit stronger. So again, if you're a PvP player, don't sleep on Samai, make sure that you are upgrading her and using her on your PvP team, right? Especially now that Glacia is available and the combination between Glacia and um, Justia is going to be insane. Especially because as we were looking before, Glacia is only 2 SP and you have a costume for, um, what is this called? You have Justia costume that is also 2 SP and that has a great area of effect and now you have this costume that is zero and you still have one more costume that you can use for one sp to buff in this case it would be probably um what is this where's the name oh alec right alec would not give magic attack but it would still do uh provide attack for justia so that she can then uh finish up any enemies oh probably you don't even need that maybe you add like something like um push a knockback unit or something like that anyways guys video is already long enough i do appreciate your time here thank you so much for being on the channel uh, let me know in the comments what do you want to know what videos you want me to be creating i'm going to be talking definitely about the boss um that is coming up once i probably my next video is going to be like the classic video explaining the mechanics and pro uh, and um the strategy that you may be using as free to play or um an old player right uh, we still have 2 hours 10 minutes for this to be released, so probably um, later today I'm going to be upgrading, uh, sorry, uploading something so that you guys can know the strategy and the way in which I am facing this boss. So yeah, don't miss on that, don't miss that guys. So thank you so much again for being on the channel, consider subscribing and liking the video if you are liking what I'm doing, and see you in the next one. Peace.